Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies, I'm Ian, and we're back with more Cloak and Dagger. <clears throat> so last episode we ended with um, Tandy driving off the road because Tyrone appeared out of nowhere and shot at her. Because um, he was uh, going to shoot the, I don't know, the, yeah he's still a cop, the cop that had shot his brother. So I, I, don't, I don't think the car had a tree, it might have. I know that, I mean obviously she's still alive, I don't know um, how badly she's injured. She wasn't in the car, so she had to been thrown out. Or they didn't show her leaving the car and stumbling away. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm still not sure exactly how Tyrone's teleporting works. Like, at the moment, it seems like he's tied to her. Or maybe it was just like, if he's thinking about the person, he can teleport to them. I'm not really sure. Um, we also saw, saw earlier on, like, you know, the coach being a real prick. Um, along with the students, ganging up on Tyrone to beat him up, which is such... I, I, I said this last time, but like, if you're gonna, at the very least, you could just, you know, don't be a coward about it and bring a bunch of others with you to do it. I mean, at least do, like, one-on-one, -on -one if you're really just that set on beating up somebody. That way, at least it's fair, but, I mean, whatever. Let's see, Tanny was trying to leave because of the fact that she stabbed that one guy. Liam's got arrested, I'm, I'm assuming it's because of the fact that he called the hospital um, on his phone to check in on the guy to see if he was there and so um, uh, the detective probably you know checked to see if anybody had called to check up on him that number showed up so that's probably why she is arresting Liam right now so yeah Tandy he called Tandy I don't think she's I know Tandy um, was was gonna ahead and leave him but I'm, I'm she's probably gonna have to head back now I mean I'm not well she doesn't necessarily have to head back I don't know why she's I don't know what her reason is to head back. She probably, maybe she just changes her mind and goes to help him or something. Um, because she could just keep going, even though she doesn't have really a way. I don't know. Are they going to have to walk back? Are they going to get a cab back? Uh, I don't, she seemed far away from his place, like from where they were. So I don't know what Tyrone's like, because he can't really control it yet. So unless, unless something like sparks it to, for them to get home. And he figures out that a uh, way to you know bring them back to to, to bring somebody with him because this far he's only been able to teleport himself. He doesn't know that he can take other people with him. And his pastor's been trying to help him. He's been uh, counseling him. Um, I think for three years. I don't remember exactly what Tyrone said because he he said before that he was t telling him in the past some amount of years about um, you know like his you know that he's uh, got survivor's guilt and all that stuff. And then he's got this pent-up anger. Uh, her mom, Tandy's mom is not a great mom or person, really. Um, that she stole, she stole Tandy's m money. Um, whether you know, it's, I mean, granted, it was illegally obtained, but still, like, even if, even if she hadn't, like, if she had earned that money, like, at, at a job, she wouldn't have cared. She would have used the money anyway. She didn't really care that it was illegal. She used it in the first place. Um, I think that's everything that happened, like main points that happened last episode. So we're going to go ahead and jump to this next one. Gonna get it, gonna get it. Nothing's gonna stop me. Okay. 3D printer, what the heck? Okay. We have a concussion, we have a concussion or something like that. Like that. Yeah, probably. Are you trying to kill me? Oh, why would you ask that? You have a gun. Because you have a gun in your hand. Does it still work? Who knows what injuries you could... Oh my god, is that? Yeah. And there's probably a bullet casing. Don't take this personally, but... I hope I never see you again. Well, that's fair. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions about the attack? Anything to catch the bad guy. Guy. So you saw him? I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't. Uh, me and my boys had gone out pretty hard, and the whole night's, uh, I don't know, kind of fuzzy. Oh. You, uh, you got some cuts on your face. We call them defensive wounds. Why were your pants unbuckled? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? The paramedics on duty that night, they told me your pants were unbuckled. Are you serious? Do you mind if I come inside? You want to come inside? I mean, don't mind. Why? I'm sorry? You can't come in here without a warrant. 
Yeah, you gotta go to the hospital, Chica. You got a major concussion. If you're lucky of a minor, but chances are major from that accident. Did they not wake her up? I mean, usually the driver wakes her up unless she's asleep still and Hello? dreaming this or something. Okay, so whose mind is she looking into then? If, unless she is actually just there. Okay, the jacket or what? What's happening to me? Are you doing this? Because... I, I don't understand, and then I, I can't control it. I'm, I'm trying to be like you, but I'm failing, and and, and I'm, I'm I'm flailing, and I'm cursed. Hi, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt or anything. I was just looking for you, and I thought you... You know, I'm just gonna stop before I sound like I was stopping you, which I wasn't. Welcome, true believers and skeptics alike, to the down ball of True believers. Now, can I get a volunteer? <laughs> you there. Step on up. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to. Come on, don't be shy. Turn around three times. All right, go. Take a deep breath, make your wish, and clap your hands once. Be professional now. And only once. You need a bath. Did I just... <laughs> like a cleansing bath, all right? It's a voodoo tradition. Cleanse away any evil spirits. Okay, have a bath. And isn't there something else we could do? I could hit you over the head, give you a concussion. Both open up the mind past the conscious so you can walk in the land of the lower. Clears the spiritual sinuses, so to speak. I prefer the bath. So now what? Now you get naked. <laughs> no peeking. No breath. Deep breaths. Let your thoughts blow through your mind like fallen leaves on the wind. The power's gonna work, he's gonna be gone. Oh. Ma. Oh, I didn't realize. She... Okay, because she said, "Give him a concussion," and so they're both doing their own version. He's he's just going the less painful route. I'm sorry, I'm so slow. <laughs> so what? You think you can ball now? Better than you, and I'm half your size. <laughs> Let's see what you got. What are we spelling? Loser. A word to the wise? You come at the king, you best not miss. Hey. Alright, maybe you got some skills. Mm. Yo, Billy. Uh -oh. Yo, man. Nah, man. I'm gonna stay with my brother. What are you doing? Give me my freedom. Run no. from this demon. Please don't give me a reason. So I just put my hand No. No, don't. 
It won't work. Stop running. Why is shaking so much? Oh, those are pills, Jesus. I did not know that. How did you get this? Found on a junkie DOA earlier today. Someone claims they found this on a dead drug addict? Not someone. Me. Took it off the stiff myself. <sighs> Detective O'Reilly. Hi, Detective. Danny Bowen. Did you get your wish? The answers you were looking for? Oh, crap. I'm an idiot. This uh, is church she's staying at. no. Alright, well. Nothing's gonna stop me now. She's pissed. Gonna get what I came for. Gonna get what I came for. So who's, was that? Hi, Rowan. Hey. I think we need to talk. Yeah, we gotta talk, man. Nice. That was that was a really cool episode. I liked that a lot. I loved like the I I wasn't totally like I was totally not thinking whenever she uh I, I, what did you say her, I think she said her name I can't remember though whenever Vita's aunt um it was her aunt right uh whenever she oh, let me close this real quick sorry got to close out this here so I don't see any spoilers um but yeah uh. The fact that you know she's saying I could, I could hit you in the head, give you a concussion, free up the spiritual senses, or uh, what was it? Open them up. Um, I didn't even. I completely wasn't even thinking about the fact that Tanny had a concussion. That that's what that was going on there. Um, I didn't get it until Tyrone was in his own, uh, I guess spiritual realm or whatever. She, uh, her aunt said I can't. I can't remember her name. Um. Yeah, but whatever, whatever, however she explained it, um, I, I didn't get it until they were both there. I, they both seemed to get something from it. Um, I don't know if Tandy's exactly worked out, because I'm pretty sure O'Reilly was telling, I'm pretty sure she told Tandy that, uh, about the fact that the case is closed because, you know, he covered it up and everything because he's a stupid rich prick. Going into that real quick, uh, I do think... I mean, Riley's a good detective, it seems, so I'm wondering if she should have went at um, 
the the prick the way she did because that then she wound up or sorry he wound up you know calling his dad or whatever and got that crap covered up speaking of which his dad's a his dad's a prick or whoever it was because I mean the fact that was it his dad or did he call because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have the influence to take care of himself I mean he's rich but I mean his dad has to have connections as well um so I'm pretty sure he called his dad or calls either way if it's his dad like what kind of a prick dad like he's gonna cover that crap up instead of having his son deal with the console I know it happens but it's, just, it's so annoying um but yeah I don't, I don't know if O'Reilly should have went at the, went at him that way and, and kind of alerted him I don't I'm not I'm not a cop so I, I don't I don't know what I'm talking about but I'm, I, I just think maybe that would have worked out better maybe if she got more evidence before coming at him with with it with the with that with the accusation I mean she didn't right out say it but she was being she it was a it was a clear insinuation he picked up on it so but yeah uh, Tyrone seems he had a, a weight lifted off his shoulders as well um but I don't I don't know if Tandy's take like if she might have turned her back on that because of the fact that you know it seems pointless now that it's been covered up and the case is closed and everything but I'm from what the looks of it Riley's not you know she's obviously pissed and I don't think she's gonna take you know just take it at that she's probably gonna, gonna keep um, trying to trying to get uh, stick the case to the kid I feel bad for Vita though because I mean I like her she seems really nice and she's cute and she has a um, I feel like they would they'd be, they would be a cute couple but I don't think something's gonna happen to her because I'm pretty sure at least in the comics that uh, Tyrone and Tandy are together are they together I think so. Am I wrong on that? No, I'm, I don't want to. I might look it up and uh, accidentally see something from the show. So I'm not going to. Someone tell me if in the comics they're together. I think, I'm think i pretty sure they are, but I could be very wrong on that. They might just be friends. Um, but, I mean, if, if if that's the case, I don't know if they're going to adapt that part you know, of their relationship and actually have them be together. Um, and then I feel bad for, uh, for Vita. I don't know if, if it comes to the case where, like, maybe. Maybe they'll write it to where like they're mutual, like, well, this isn't gonna work out, kind of a thing. Oh, maybe I don't see that happening. I feel like maybe that's gonna, there's gonna be some kind of fallout. Maybe Tyrone and Handy will end up kissing or something, or or maybe she'll they'll be seen together and it'll be seen the wrong way, or she'll see like there's something between them and she'll be upset about it. Cause I don't think she would be doing anything that would make him upset at her, unless he just realizes that he's getting feelings for Tandy. So he ends up breaking things off with with Vita. Either way, I feel bad for her. Cause she seems she seems sweet. But yeah. So I was wondering what was going on with the 3D printer. Um, it seemed kind of random. But then the second time they showed it, um, I had a feeling it had to do that it had to do something. Cause I mean, it, it was the fact that they kept they showed it more than once. It was like okay, so there's gonna be something to do with it. It's probably gonna be uh, it's probably gonna represent something. Or I, I thought maybe it was like. I don't, I don't know, maybe whenever it was complete it would be like representing the completion of whatever they were trying to figure out. I don't know, I didn't, I wasn't sure what the heck it was. And then it shows, then uh, it was revealed that it's Tyrone, essentially. Not essentially, it's, it's, it's a 3D print of Tyrone, and it's all black, and it was the, it was the ant. So that's kind of, definitely has something to that. You know, she's, there's always something, there's obviously something to her. I mean, one of the things that she helped with, because I mean, some voodoo pe priests or what whatever they're called I'm not familiar with their um, names and whatnot um, I'm pretty sure some of them aren't some uh, do try to con people so I, I wasn't I mean then it is her aunt so maybe she, she probably wouldn't have um, thought to bring Tyrone if she knew uh, her aunt was conning some uh, people but now she sees uh, that she because she she just met Tyrone, so she probably wouldn't have known before. So it's uh, now that she's seen him, and she sees like, okay, so what what does this mean? So it's it's kind of cool though. I like I like that that kind of visual, like for showing that he was he's completely printed in black. I mean, did she? I know she probably chose it, but maybe it was it was probably like you know maybe she felt like I wonder what. How did she? Because don't you have to set it to to print something? What does hers do? I'm not really like I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. Don't you have to set three printers to for a specific like you have to put in like the 
the I can't think of it, but you have to input something to print something you want specific, like specifically how you want it printed. So I, I don't know what she could have done to where it was automatic and printed on its of its own accord. So she didn't know. Maybe she saw an image and she didn't realize. Like, so she put whatever she needed to put in the printer. Um, if I'm sorry if if that's not how 3D printers work. I've never used one. I've I've never seen them being used. So I have no idea like what is needed to make anything from a 3D printer. But yeah, she definitely seemed surprised and kind of confused about the fact that it printed Tyrone and nothing black. I know you probably have to choose the color or whatever, so that might have been, you know, she had a feeling to choose that color or something. I don't know. Um, but I do, I just like the, like that, the way, the, the way they did that, the way we kind of like showed it throughout the episode, like bits, and then they finally revealed what it was supposed to be and why it has meaning to that, why it was in the episode in the first place. That scene with uh, the part with Tyrone, whenever, um, like when it was showing the part where she was gonna help him, uh, like when when he when it first started with him going to the gun, um, going through that when it was when that scene was starting, uh, that was a rough scene. The part, the part where it got to the noose, I mean, he's probably like he's. He's just so overwhel overwhelmed, and and the the weight of everything is is on him. He's he's want the anger's just boiling inside of him, and he wants to either he's he's not sure what to do. He wants he thinks maybe like kill this cop and would maybe make him feel better and get justice for his brother, at least in his eyes, or to to kill himself. He he's just he's he's I can't think of the word, and it's pissed me off. But he's just so overwhelmed by everything, and he's he's the guilt, the as as he said as he said in the second episode, I think it was the survivors survivors guilt, um, and then Tandy, I guess is it supposed to be she's supposed to help him, and that's like in the, help him. Get uh, expose the cop and help him get justice or something. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I'm assuming that he's gonna. Uh, I'm assuming that's what that's supposed to say. That's supposed to represent. They, they they can help each other get justice for for both ends. Like you know, obviously get the cop arrested and expose the truth about what happened to his brother. Um, and on on her end, uh. Expose rocks rocks on to what they did, and that it wasn't her dad that um, was responsible for the explosion. I really liked uh, how the how they represented that, and when they showed Tyrone's abilities, um, can he do that like outside of the spiritual realm or what, whatever they wherever they were at? Can he like use his abilities to like kind of a sort of grab people or something to envelop them with it with his smoke abilities I don't, again I'm sorry I don't know how his, how their powers work so I'm not sure I, I don't, the only thing I remember is that he can teleport and he can teleport things um, and people so I don't I'm not really sure how that if, if he can I don't know if he can do that um, that'd be really cool if he can her powers are more offensive than his she can create you know daggers I don't know I mean, it's light. The fact that she can create hard light objects, I wonder if she can basically, like, kind of use it as a blast? I'm not really sure. I don't recall you doing that in the comics, but maybe he, maybe she could. I mean, it, theoretically, she, it, it makes sense. Um, so I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm also wondering if she could create anything bigger than a, than a dagger. I mean, I know her name is, in the comics, Dagger. Dagger. But I'm wondering if she can create anything larger like I don't know if she can create a, I don't know if she can like make like custom not customize uh influence the form I don't know if she can just make them make a larger object maybe she could still like make a basically make a, a kind of a sword but just like a you know it wouldn't look like a sword it'd just be like a long sharp light shard I don't know that'd be really that'd be really cool they'd be giving her more range I mean she can throw the daggers I mean at least in the comics I don't know how efficient she has to be to be able to actually throw a dagger. Um, that, like I don't know if the uh, the abilities assist her. I don't know if she has to be good at throwing them for them to fly. Like she, I mean, she'd have to aim, but I don't know if she can like just throw it and it'll hit the target. 
easily. Because, so, like, I don't know, I don't think she has any kind of experience in, in throwing knives, so. Um, I mean, she could probably learn. I'm just saying, I don't, yeah, I don't know how quickly she could pick that up. Um, or she even has to. If her abilities just allow, allow that. And Tyrone's his abilities, they don't, like, to my, not, to my recollection, I don't think they really have much offensive capabilities. He'd have to be more of a fighter. Um, his abilities are more for transportation and, if need be, uh, retreat. Ah, I hate that. Those, that ringing. I just like both, uh, I said this before, but I just like both representations of their spirit areas. Um, like the where, one of, oh, the, the bit with his, with his brother, man, that was, that was, so bad for Tyrone. He's, he, I think he was seeing, or she was seeing what he wants, he wanted, he want he wishes it happened. Like maybe he, they had both just kind of left it as is didn't deal with the the radio and just kind of things would have been fine from there if they just left left things to let thing let things be so that was kind of sad i mean it was it was sweet but it was kind of sad and also just again showing like the choices he was give like he had that he saw before him of dealing with you know the 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 weight on him and the emotions inside of him and on tanny's side you know just her being outside this box with the with the rocks on and and um, her dad tied to a chair inside that box. Ah, why? I, I just liked how they how they filmed that, how they chose to represent how they're dealing with things, um, or, or how, kind of how they perceive. I mean, they don't probably perceive it, but like, I guess kind of like how their mind perceives it, like how it, uh, how they feel it's attacking attacking them. Ah, uh, I don't I don't really know how to explain it. I'm sorry. Um, but I, I just I love the way it was represented. It was really well done. And I'm thinking the last part was kind of like she feels like she's she hurts anybody around her, like the with the, when she was like the young Tandy and handing out pills like like uh, you do at uh, communion. So I'm um, I'm I think that's what that was supposed to mean. I mean there was the douchebag, so that we don't really care about. But I mean you know everybody else. And then Liam, she felt she hurts him too. But I'm thinking that's what it was. That was that's what that was supposed to kind of show I'm not entirely sure and I also didn't pick up on the fact that they were at her church like or the one that she stays at I just figured it was it was a church yeah I think that's all I have for this episode uh, I didn't not a whole lot to really go into I mean it was a lot of stuff that happened it's just uh, like a lot of I mean what I wrote, what I have down is just you know this the investigation stuff which I pretty much went into already um, Stuff that is more just, I guess, observations that don't really lend to discussion. Now I know they're irrelevant anyway um, to the to what's going on. Like well, one part, part I thought that was just kind of funny was, well, not funny, but funny in an annoying way. That you know when when Detective O'Reilly showed up at Tandy's place, um, and then the lawyers like said that you can't come in without a without a warrant. You know she, she's not like coming at them uh, aggressively or anything. It's not like accusing them of anything but obviously he's there saying that because the situation they're in at the moment you know they've got these these pills laying about and, and also the, the the crushed I don't know if it was the, they crushed the pills or if they got actual like um, like actual drugs that they were they were doing but either way it's, it's it wouldn't do for them if she were to come to the house so that was his main reason for saying that well you know that Tandy's not going to be leaving I'm wondering if like <laughs> I'm pretty sure the the money was not refundable since they already got the stuff. So poor poor Liam gave a lot of his, all of his money, and she's not going to be using it. I mean, not saying she should. I'm just saying like now he's like completely out of money now, and he's locked up still. I'm wondering if they can deal with that. I mean, maybe now that the now that, now that Detective O'Reilly knows that he didn't have anything to do with it, maybe she'll let him go. I'm just hoping. Um, but yeah, a great episode. I really enjoyed this episode a lot. Um, I'm curious to see like how they're gonna what, like what's gonna happen next episode because I know they're gonna they're apparently gonna talk about what they saw. They probably they probably know or she probably knows, you know that they were both in that kind of a I don't know. I'm wondering like whether you're exactly gonna discuss like how maybe like about how um, they can help each other with their different issues like about getting 
justice on both sides with dealing with the cop and also rocks on yeah guys that's it for this week's episode of a cloak and dagger hope you enjoyed it if you want to check out the rest of our stuff go and click the button right next to me and if you want to stick around for next episode make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you want to be notified when our videos come out go and click the bell icon down below um you guys that's it thanks for watching and hope to see you next week